All right, we're gonna talk about a medication we use quite a bit, Toro. And very interestingly, uh, Toro is Ketorolac, the general um, common name. Um, it is an NSAID, so we gotta be careful with people with NSAID allergies, but also people who are also not only kind of blood thinners. Uh, NSAIDs kind of inhibit platelet function so they can increase bleeding. Certainly you don't wanna use in patients who are already bleeding. It is not a contraindication if they're going to have surgery, but a lot of surgeons kind of complain that you gave it. Although there's really no good data saying that increases the chance of major bleeding after surgery or something like that. Uh, the interesting thing of the article, why I'm bringing it up, is what is the therapeutic ceiling of total? How much is good enough and giving any more would it give any more benefit? It's not like narcotics, you keep giving more and more and you get a better effect. So they did this um, research, it was randomized and controlled. They get 10, 15, or 30 milligrams IV total, and they check the patient 30 minutes, an hour, and two hours after giving it, and see which one uh, got better, or which was the same, pain control, whatever. And the results were that 10 milligrams of total were just as good as 30. And there's no reason to go all the way to 30. Uh, certainly not to 60 IM, uh, there's, there's no reason to do that. Um, so the important thing is, is well, it comes in 15, so given 10, it means you got away. So I'll probably go down to 15. I used to give 30. Based on this article, I'm going to give 15 now. Um, but uh, I went back and looked, well, why not give 30? It's not going to hurt. Well, it could hurt. NSAIDs are anti-inflammatory, affect renal function. So people who are healthy, but they're here for nausea, vomiting, dehydration, and you don't know yet what their kidney function is going to be. You give 30 of IV NSAIDs and then their creatinine is 2.1. That's a problem. So it can cause worsening renal function and stuff. So you don't want to do that. People who are older and, and they're diuretics or something, you kind of have to be careful with those. Interestingly enough, obviously anybody with history of cardiovascular disease, uh, including strokes or heart attacks and stuff, you should be careful with any NSAID because it slightly increases the chance of uh, thromboembolic uh, events and heart attacks and stroke and things like that. And that goes for everything, even naproxen, ibuprofen, or any kind of anti-inflammatory like that. And it's actually contraindicated, I did not know this, in people with bypass surgery. Same reason, you know, they have a, a big scar in their chest or whatever, they have heart disease, so you should not give total in people with previous bypass surgery. So, um, now you know. And there's no reason to give 30, we can just give 15, and that's how I'm going to change my practice. How many people were in the study? Uh, about 200 people. Yeah.